Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So back in July of this year, I let you know that Google Chrome was finally going to be getting vertical tabs, which apparently is a very highly requested feature. And obviously, users of Chrome want vertical tabs because other mainstream web browsers like Edge, Brave, Vivaldi, and so on have all got vertical tabs already. So it only makes sense that Google would start introducing vertical tabs at some point in the stable version. Now, when I posted back in July, the feature wasn't working yet, and it was all according to a patch over on Chromium Garrett. But just to let you know that recently I've managed to get the vertical tabs working now in Chrome Canary, which is an early preview version of the browser. So now I can actually give you a first look and show you something in real time if this would be of interest to you. Now, how we enable vertical tabs, the easiest way would be to right click in the tab strip and here you'll see show tabs to the side. Click on that and there we go. There's our vertical tabs. Now, it's still very much in its early days, so it is a bit clunky, but just a quick walkthrough for the purpose of this video. Now, first of all, it looks like you will be able to resize it eventually, but it's not working yet. I'm trying to drag that, although the little arrows are there. I can't resize it. I think that would make a lot of sense. It is a little bit large at this stage. You can see it goes right to the top of the screen. So it goes to the top of the browser frame. Yeah, you've got your tab search that's built directly into that. I don't know exactly what this is supposed to do. But nonetheless, it is a toggle that is available at the top. And then here at the bottom, you can add new tabs. But I have found that... I can't close the tabs in the vertical tabs. It's not working. So as mentioned, a bit clunky. And then yeah, you've got your tab groups that have been saved and you can create a new tab group. And if you want to exit out of vertical tabs, you just right click here at the top and yeah, you'll see show tabs at the top. And that places everything back and then you can X out at this stage currently of those tabs. But as mentioned, it is a bit clunky. So there's still a bit of work to do. Now, something else that has rolled out recently regarding the vertical tabs or show tabs to the side, as Google is calling it, is if we head to our settings, head over to the appearance page, there's a new toggle on the appearance page that's recently become available, which says tab strip position, top or side. So you can also use vertical tabs and enable vertical tabs using this toggle on the appearance page in settings. So there we go. So that's to side and that's to top. So I think that's going to be quite nice when this does make it to stable. And I don't see why it wouldn't make it to stable because it just makes the most sense to bring it in line with other mainstream web browsers, closing that gap a little bit in regards to marketing. And I'm going to keep my ear to the ground with this because obviously it is still early days. And something else that Google is working on that's hidden behind an experimental flag, which you can enable in the stable version already, which just doesn't seem to be rolling out. Google seems to be taking their time, is your split view where you can open up two tabs in one browser window. I'll leave the video on how you can enable that down below in the description and in the end screen. So that's another feature that other browsers like Brave and Edge and so on have got that Google is also working on in preview. So interesting that although Google is your most popular web browser, has been the last in implementing vertical tabs and a split view and a split screen. Now, in regards to the vertical tabs, this is not a default feature currently in Chrome Canary. I had to enable it using a command line flag and I'll leave the command line flag down below in the description if you have the know-how how to enable a command line flag in Google Chrome and other browsers. I'll leave that there if you want to copy and paste it in to the target in the properties menu of a shortcut if you'd like to enable this if you are testing features in Chrome Canary. But nonetheless, guys, that's just a quick first look and a quick walkthrough at the new vertical tabs in Chrome, but still quite a bit of work to do, as you can see, quite clunky. But I'll keep you guys posted as I spot changes and I get more information. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.